National parks have much importance in our lives. They protect the woods and various species from harm and going extinct. They also maintain, maintain the diversity of the species in the area. In biology, having a diverse species count is important. National parks can control the number of species and the type of species in the environment in order to keep a healthy biome. National parks also let other people, such as civilians, understand the importance of protecting the environment and the things in it. What is the importance of national state parks? Well, in my opinion, it's to get a lot of people out that would not normally get to see nature or the environment, like people in Oakland, kids at high schools that don't have the money to get bus here or anything. It gets families and communities out to see nature. And right now, it's really, really cold and rainy, but... We're gonna go anyway. Everybody has their raincoat, and I have an umbrella right here, so everything should be fine, hopefully. And we won't get we won't get the camera wet. Okay, so now we are going to the visitor center, and maybe we'll see if we can talk to somebody there. But the the park is exceptionally beautiful right now. Muir Woods is the first national monument that was created from land donated by a private individual. In 1907, Congressman William Kent donated 295 acres to the federal government for its preservation. Theodore Roosevelt made the donation into a national monument in 1908. William Kent refused to have the monument named after him and instead had the park named after John Muir. William Kent went on to introduce the National Park System Bill to the Congress. He served as a model for other wealthy individuals who also contributed to the National Park System. In 1945, Muir Woods was where the UN delegates held a commemorative ceremony in tribute to the late President Franklin D. Roosevelt and placed a dedication plaque in Cathedral Grove. What do you think is the historical significance of Muir Woods? Oh, big time. I mean, John Muir was one of those guys that you don't see all the time. He was a conservationist years before it was popular. And the person, William Kent and Gifford Pinchot, saved this land. And Teddy Roosevelt was the president that saved this for us. And without Teddy Roosevelt, this wouldn't be what it was. And he was one of those presidents that was way ahead of his time. And it kind of proved to young people, just do it. Get out there, help your community, because it's amazing what you can do. Today, Muir Woods is a popular recreational area. There's many facilities, including restrooms, gift shops, cafes, and there's also many campgrounds, which is really great for people who want to camp. And activities include hiking or biking, or ranger-led tours around the park, which are very popular among students and tour groups. There's also activities that are held every year, including the annual Dipsy Race, a foot race which occurs between Mill Valley and Stinson Beach, and it passes through Muir Woods the second Sunday every single June. The Double Dipsy is later in June, and the Quad Dipsy takes place in November, and they all follow the exact same course. So what role does Muir Woods play in the Bay Area? Um, it's the only old growth national um, park. It's the only old growth redwood forest here. Um, and it's very local. It's Once you know where it is, it's easy to get to. And a lot of communities around here can get here within a half an hour. And you can see redwood trees where you can't see them. Anywhere. All national parks are under the Title 36 Code Federal Regulations. Under that, there is a clause called the Superintendent's Compendium, which covers the specifics of John Muir Park and other Golden Gate Parks. Firearms with legal license are allowed in the park, but not in federal buildings such as the gift shop and a tourist center. Bikes are allowed, but only on paved roads and must follow a strict speed limit. Pets are not allowed in the park. Visitors' responsibility is mainly to understand the rules prior to entering and to comply with the ones posted there. Some of the signs state some of the rules required, such as no pets allowed, no smoking, to stay on the trail, and staying silent during walking is required because otherwise the noise and also straying off trail disturbs the wildlife. What responsibilities do you need to have as a visitor to your woods? Um, just to make uh, customers feel happy. We want them to be on trails that are safe. We give, we give them safe trails. We let them know about the woods and the facilities we have around here, and we let them know what else they can see in the area. And we want their visit to be nice because we want we would like them to come back again. Uh, so why did you guys come here to Muir Woods? We came just because we, we've been here before, but it's been a long time, like 30 years. Plus, we were in town visiting San Francisco, so 
This is one of the highlights we decided. Oh, you see? Oh, that's nice. So does the rain make it better or worse? Does it make it inconvenient? Or do you think it makes the park more well, beautiful? We're just saying, it's definitely different, a unique perspective that we haven't seen before. Like, like I said, last time we were here, it wasn't raining. It was nice and sunny. So it's kind of, I like it. Can you look at Stephanie? Thank oh, you. Yeah. Okay. So what do you think the importance of national parks are? Uh, national parks are very important because they allow um, the public to get out and explore uh, their own country uh, and also just to connect with nature. Have you been around here often? Yeah, I've, uh, I've been here since the beginning of June. Do you live around here? Uh, well, I do now, uh, but I'm originally from New York. So, so do you think this is a lot different from New York, the parks here? Yes, yeah, it's, it's extremely different, <laughs> uh, mostly because at least this area is untouched, it's an old growth forest. Uh, so there hasn't been um, at least a lot of urbanization uh, in forests here. Um, so how do you feel about the rain today? Do you think it makes it prettier or does it, is that sort of a challenge? I think it makes it a lot prettier um, and I think it also really shows uh, the public's dedication. Uh, seeing people come out here even in the rain uh, I think really makes me feel happy uh, that people will still come out here to enjoy the national parks. Um, could I ask you, uh, if you ha have you been to any of the national parks in New York, if they're any different from the ones here? Uh, you know, I've only been to a few, but they are a lot different. Uh, a lot of them, especially things like Statue of Liberty, Ellis Island, uh, you know, they're speaking more to the history um, instead of here where it's more of a, a tribute to the natural environment. So, um, what do you think the importance okay, of the national parks are? The importance? Yeah. It's just great to preserve, you know, these natural areas and, um, you know, to keep it for future generations. I mean, it's things that are just great to share with, you know, your share with children, everybody. Your children, your grandchildren, mm -hmm. it's great. Have you been here often? Well, we're actually time? from Minnesota. It's oh, the first time we've been here, so it's yeah. pretty amazing. Is it different from Minnesota? Or yeah, we don't, we don't have trees quite this big. I mean, we have forests and things like that, but this is just not like anything, you know, we have back home. Do you like the rain that's happening right now? <laughs> yeah, it's cool. It's just a nice little ambiance. I mean, it just feels like a cool setting. But, um, have you been to any um, national parks in Minnesota? Um, do we even have national parks? Have <laughs> yeah. I don't think we do. I mean, we've Up been north to like... there are, um, like the, in the Boundary Waters, but... Uh... Yeah, nothing like this. Yeah, okay. Um, okay. Um, what does Mirror Woods mean to you? Uh, it means that San Francisco has an incredible amount of history with it. More so than where we're from. <laughs> uh, where are you guys from? Charlotte, North Carolina. This uh -huh. is a pretty new city, so this is I mean, this is amazing. Yeah. So are you guys just visiting, or do you live here? No, just, yeah, just visiting. Yeah, oh. no, I've never been here before, so. So you heard about it through the internet, your friends? Mirror Woods? Yeah. 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 Yeah, and we uh, we're on a tour, so. Oh, are you with those people in the? Uh huh. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs>